we need to understand the word blessing means because this has been totally been twisted today and the word blessing has to if you want to see the word blessing turn with me to numbers chapter 6 verse 23 the lord said verse 22 and the lord spoke to moses and saying speak to aaron and his son saying this is the way you shall bless the children of israel all right this is the way all right say to them the lord bless you and keep you the lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you the lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace the lord he is going to make his face shine upon you you know what aren't you glad that you came to the fellowship today because it's a blessing for you right why is it a blessing because you're hearing the word of god when you hear the word of God, the presence of God is there. That's why it is a blessing. Now, if you did not come to the fellowship today, and if you did your own way, and probably you went, maybe we'll say that you went to a movie or shopping or did your own thing in Disneyland, you think that would be a blessing? Of course not, because the presence of God is not there. So the blessing is always to be in the presence of God. That's what it says here. The Lord make his face shine upon thee. That's a blessing. It's the presence of God is a blessing. Now, the opposite of blessing is what? The curse. That means the curse is to depart from God. Not to be in the presence of God. But to be away from God is a curse. That's why Jesus said in Matthew 25, 41, He shall say unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye curse, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angel. Here we see, departing from God is a curse. But to be in the presence of God is a blessing. 